So there was an update to GTA 5 today. It broke script hook. So today we are going to downgrade it so we can still be able to use mods until a new update of script hook. Going to the desktop in three. Two, one. So now that we're uh, at the desktop, we're going to go to the fixer and then we're going to extract it. We're going to create a folder of where we want our a GTA 5 directory to be. Name that like that. And then we're going to copy these. Now we're going to go to the G GTA 5 directory. We're going to copy update.rpf. Well, actually, we're just grab those and then place that in the update as a link. Grab these, I think. And then this one should be the last. Now we open up Steam. Add as a non-Steam game. 
go to where our GTA 5 is, play GTA 5, and I'm going to use a 925, but you can use Proton 9 or Experimental. And then we're going to launch it once. So it creates a prefix, and then we link the prefix of where we had um, the .NET installed. Yeah, it's going to uh, say that. That's fine. Those errors are on my end. They will not reflect uh, for you. Browse files. And then we go up one folder and delete prefix. And then link to file or directory. Name this as prefix, and then link to where you have your GTA prefix. Mine is in a custom folder, but if you followed my last video, it would be in games. And I think it was uh, .NET. Just link like that. Now that that's ready, the no battle eye. And that should boot you into. And that's how you downgrade GTA back to the previous version before uh, the new update. Anyway, that is uh, 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 how to do it. I will have the downgrader linked in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Any questions or comments down below, put them down below. And uh, if you want, uh, uh, join the Discord. Anyway, Dead Boys Corner, signing off. Peace.